Hello my darlings! I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. So as you can see from the title, I am milking my summer vibe like a cow. <laughs> I promised you that because summer fragrances is my gem. And since I recently done the affordable version for you, and please let me know if you would like to have part two of affordable summer fragrances. I know those summer fragrances are only piling up on my channel, but I have so much to share with you. And to be completely honest, I have another list of great, very affordable summer fragrances. So please let me know if you want to see that as well because I've been asked about some Calvin Klein's, which I really like and I also want to share with you and some other fragrances that are great for summer with a very, very low price tag. So yeah, let me know if you want to see another affordable video, but today we are doing bougie. We are doing bougie and definitely not on a budget, guys. These are the most bougie summer fragrances. These are the summer fragrances that scream luxury. If you want to smell luxurious, you need to use these ones. And speaking of luxurious, I have a beautiful thing to show you. So I have a partnership with Julia Jewelry once again. As you guys know, I've worked with Julia many, many times and I absolutely love the brand. Of course, guys, it's not just me showing off the goodies that I got. Of course, I have a discount code for you, which will be linked right here and in the description box with all the links to the things that I got. But let me show you the goodies. So it comes like this. I'm sure you already know how the packaging looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. You get another pouch if you want to have it as a gift for someone. So you know, you're all set. It comes with certificates. It has very affordable price and the quality is insane. So I got this time a three piece set of beautiful rings. I am absolutely obsessed with Julia rings, to be completely honest. This is the best quality I have encountered uh, for such low price tag and it's still luxurious. So this is how they look together. I will insert the uh, shots of them because I know the lighting might be a little bit deceiving and will not give the beauties justice. But they're absolutely amazing. So what I love about their pieces is that they come in three piece sets and five piece sets very often. So you know, you can mix and match and you can wear them like, for example, one on this hand, uh, two on this. I can also wear them on my thumb because I got a little um, size, I sized up a little bit. So I can wear it on my thumb as well and they're still fine on my middle finger. So yeah, they're, uh, they're just beautiful, guys. And I love the internity bands because even though I am definitely a gold girl, as you can see, guys, like it's mostly gold that I wear, with the eternity bands from Julia, they just match so well with gold because, you know, it's just like you have those zirconias or sapphires all around. Yeah, I love those internity rings. They are very much in fashion right now but this is the piece that will never ever go out of style and to be completely honest guys the julia pieces look like real diamonds and in real life you can really not tell a difference it's that good the quality is amazing they shine they catch the light they're done beautifully so yeah check out julia jewelry i am obsessed uh, every time I order from them, I feel like, oh, this is going to be my favorite piece from them. But no. Then I order something else and I'm like, oh, this is going to be my favorite piece for sure. And then there's this. And this is my favorite piece at the moment. Because I really, really wanted those stackable eternity bands. Because I will be mixing and matching them with other rings and stack them together. It's going to be amazing. And I'm really amping up my ring game, so stay tuned because I will be wearing some ices on my hands. And I'm very happy about it because I'm talking about bougie today, so I need to be presentable, right? Yeah. Okay, let's start, guys. So, to be completely honest, I do have some fragrances that I have shown already on my channel. 
and I don't really want to ramble too much about them because you already know them so I will leave it till the end because I have some amazing discoveries that I'm still testing but I already know I've tested them enough and I already know they're absolutely fantastic so uh, this is going to be very luxurious but very unique list uh, things that have or maybe just once um, been shown on my channel so I'm super excited for that because you know I really took my time to compile this list for you and show you something that's not very popular so if you're interested let's go ahead and jump right in but before we do that please don't forget to subscribe to help us grow our gorgeous community and of course follow me on Instagram I heard it's very popular to have an Instagram account so I have one too you know okay let's jump right in so the first one that I want to show you is House of Oud Empathy. And at first when I tested it, actually I tested it on camera with you, I wasn't too impressed. Uh, because to me it was like a, a little bit like a um, dishwasher cleaner kind of thing. Uh, a little bit too fruity, very light, but I was wrong. I was wrong, okay? I'm sorry. As it dries down, it has some tobacco to it, it has some oud to it as well. It's super sweet, super fruity. It's one of the most easy to wear ouds that I have ever encountered, ever encountered. It's just fantastic. It is so good for summer, especially if you're going for a summer party, a summer evening, dinner with your friends, with your partner. It's very sexy. But it's not like, oh, what is she wearing? It's so strong. You know what I mean? It's just perfect, perfect for this kind of weather. I wouldn't say it's going to be amazing for fall and winter. To me, it's a hot weather kind of fragrance. It works so, so beautifully during the summertime. Now, as we are having a heat wave in Poland, I've been wearing it all the time and I am absolutely obsessed. So check out Empathy, by the way the bottle is amazing, so yeah, it, it's gonna look good on the counter. If you love those more fruity fragrances, this is gonna be fantastic for you. So that's House of Oud Empathy. Next fragrance that I want to show you is gonna be a little bit controversial because first of all, not many people talk about it. Second of all, I know it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea and that is Amouage Beach Hut. So the name suggests, obviously, it's a summer fragrance, right? And this is a fragrance that contains driftwood. So I must say it's definitely on a sharper side, you know? It's not the easiest fragrance to wear. But if you love that kind of fragrance that is aromatic, uh, has a woody undertone, it's definitely very driftwood potent. You're gonna love this. It is still very much appropriate for summer. It's gonna work beautifully in the heat. The longevity is abnormal, abnormal, especially for that kind of a fresher scent. Also, I feel like with Beach Hut, this is gonna be perfect to mix with other summer fragrances. Like for example, what do I have here? This is gonna be Fantastic to mix with Tom Ford Eau de Soleil Blanc. Actually, let me spray it together right now. And I've already worn it like that and I was obsessed. Yeah. That combination... Bomb, bomb, bomb. Fantastic. And as I said, the longevity of Beach Hut is abnormal. And when you spray the Eau de Soleil Blanc on top, Thanks to that um, sharper, woody undertone of Beach Hut, this lasts so much longer than usual and projects so much more. For some reason, Beach Hut really amps up the Tom Ford one. Fantastic. This combination is like my gem. Actually, I honestly should show them together because this is how I've been wearing them. To me, Beach Hut, you can totally wear it alone, but it... It's missing that sweetness that I like, you know? And Tom Ford gives me that creamy, milky sweetness that I've been craving in Beach Hut. So together, they're perfect. So that's my 
conjunction of choice for summer days. It's more like a daytime mixture. Totally good for night, but more daytime for me. Okay, what do we have next? This, guys, is like my dream fragrance. And I have been postponing purchasing this fragrance for so long, uh, since February, maybe even earlier. But I've been obsessed ever since I smelled it first time last year. And But it's so expensive, guys. It's so expensive and I cannot justify still. Even though I know I want it, I will wear it. I just need to get it, you know? I just need to just get it. Just get it, Paulina. I'm talking about a fragrance that is not very too popular and that is Memo Sintra. Sintra, actually, that's how you should um, read it, right? Because uh, it's a Portuguese town. So, Sintra is basically very similar to uh, Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. However, however, for all my beauties who find Love Don't Be Shy a little bit too much in summer, a little bit too sweet, a little bit too cloying, Sintra is going to be your best friend. First of all, it projects and lasts so much better than Love, I'll be honest. Even though this one has very good performance, Sintra is so much better. Um, and Sintra does contain a lot of petal grain, which gives a lot of, I don't want to say sharpness, but some greenness and more citrus vibes, if it makes any sense. And this is just one of the best fragrances I have discovered. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love it so much. It's insane. And it's so strong. So potent, guys. You need to check it out. I don't speak enough about it on my channel. If I had the bottle, I would probably speak about it every single video of mine. So maybe that's actually good that I didn't purchase it yet. I love it so much. So Sintra is like a bougie staple of your fragrance stash for summer. If you love vibes of love, which I definitely do put in this list, low-key, um, because they're both amazing, but if love is a little bit too much for you in terms of sweetness, try Sintra and you're gonna be amazed. You're gonna be amazed. All right, next Memo fragrance that I also need to purchase, but I actually wanna batch purchase Memo fragrances. That's why also I've been postponing purchasing Sintra. And yeah, I just want to just batch purchase and get it over with. If you love tuberose, you're gonna love this one. This is Marfa by Memo. And this is one of the best tuberose I have encountered. This is very, very summer appropriate. So good. So, so, so good. I am really obsessed with Memo fragrances. If I was very very rich i would probably have them all by now but you know i'm a normal person and i also have to be reasonable you know i purchase so many fragrances sometimes i keep postponing those most expensive ones just so i have um a lot to show you but nevertheless martha is so beautiful. This is a very sweet tuberose with a lot of greenness to it, but it's still on the sweet side. You get some other florals. Um, there is some vanillic touch to it, you know, it has very warm undertone. Just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. These two are definitely my favorite from Memo and I've tried a lot of them, like over half of their fragrances I've tried already and these are my two favorites. I still need to try Granada and I'm thinking of blind buying it to be completely honest. Let me know if you have it and if you like it and do you think I would like it. But Marfa, fantastic longevity again, is not as strong in projection and it's not as obnoxious as Sintra because Sintra, I'll be honest, it is quite in your face, you know, which I am here for. I love it for that. Marfa is a little bit more toned down, 
but it's still very long lasting. So for the tuberose lovers, this is the best. If you love sweet fragrances, Marfa, just get it. Just get Marfa because it's fantastic. Okay. Uh, next fragrance that I have is from Parfums de Mali and that is the Lina La Rosé. And you've been waiting for a review from me for the longest time. And I have went through, I think, four or five samples of it. So I can say a few words about it now. So guys, in all honesty, I think if you have the original... <laughs> If you have the original Delina, I honestly don't think you need it because first of all the longevity is not as amazing as the original and also it's a little bit more generic. I don't want to say it's completely not unique or anything, no no no, it's still beautiful but it's not as unique as Delina, you know? However, I still do recommend it if you are a massive fan of Delina or you are in general a massive fan of such fragrances that are rosy, aquatic and musky because this is indeed very beautiful and I really really enjoy wearing it, I'll be honest yeah, it's really pretty, it's... Mm, you can smell it's the Lina but it's far enough that you can own both however if you're expecting massive longevity like the Lina has no, it does not project or last that long. It is not bad on lasting power, I would say it's like 6 hours. But after that it gets into completely skin scent. Uh, but it has a very nice mus musky dry down, I must say. Uh, this is basically an aquatic rose with a Delina twist. If you love Delina, go ahead and check it out. I still want to put it on this list because I want to mention it, because I've never mentioned it before and this is definitely a beautiful bougie summer fragrance. If the Lina didn't exist, it will probably might be my favorite, but since we all know how the Lina smells, many people might be disappointed, but I know many people who actually love it more. So, I think you should still check it out, it's still worth checking out, because it's going to be a beautiful summer fragrance nevertheless. I hope I made sense. That's the Lina La Rose. Uh, will I purchase the bottle? Probably not due to the lasting power that it has on me. I much prefer getting uh, the Lina Exclusive for myself. But who knows, maybe in the future, I don't know. But yeah, moving on. What do we have next? Actually, let's move on to another Parfum de Marly fragrance and that is Meliora. And as much as I've been recommending uh, Amethyst from the League as a dupe for it, I still stand by that. However, I personally slightly prefer Meliora, I'll be honest. It is not as sharp and it lasts and lasts and lasts. So for that lasting power alone to me, that one is honestly a winner. Of course, the price of La Ligue Amethyst is much better, but what can we do? Yeah, it's just a berry goodness. Very much of a berry scent, very, very similar to Amethyst by Lalique. So yeah, uh, if you love one or the other, you probably don't need them both. If you want something super bougie, more long-lasting, get Meliora. Yeah, because, you know, the lasting power is here. Whereas Lalique, not so much, to be honest. Okay, next one we have by Mikalev, and that is Pure Extreme. And I fell in love with that fragrance immediately when I smelt it. It's beautiful, it's fresh, it's floral, but very, very expensive smelling. Very, very expensive smelling, and I must say that the longevity on this fragrance is absolutely fantastic. Um, it is sweet enough to be worn by women who like sweet fragrances but it also is fresh enough that you can wear it in a very high heat and it is classy enough that any woman in any age can pull this off. I love this one, this is absolutely fantastic and I don't want to ramble too much about it, just 
see for yourself. I really, really enjoy Pure Extreme along with another Mikela fragrance, which is Ananda. And I mean the Ananda original. I think it's in the white bottle, if I'm not mistaken. And this, to be completely honest, has a little bit of a similar vibe. It's still like white floral. This one I find a little bit sweeter, a little bit more feminine. It is still green. Very, very beautiful two fragrances. I highly recommend one or the other. Um, it only depends on the nose structure that you prefer. To me, they are quite similar. Maybe not exactly, but they are quite similar. They have a similar vibe on my skin. So yeah, Ananda in the white bottle and Mikalev Pure Extreme are absolutely fantastic fragrances from Mikalev range. Fantastic for summer. Both have good longevity. I think Pure Extreme is a little bit better on that um, department. But yeah, I love them both. Ananda and Pure Extreme by Mikala, fantastic ones. All right, next one. Uh, this will be something more for the evenings and that is Centaur Complet by Fragrance de Bois. And that one is, as the name suggests, a sandalwood fragrance with a lot of coconut. So, you know, when I have coconut in my fragrance, I'm like, yes, please. Oh, yum, yum, yum. This is very woody, but very creamy, milky sandalwood with that coconut. Very beautiful. A little bit smoky, like incense a little bit, at least on my skin. So, so nice. So, if you want something very bougie with a very high price point that is woody and coconutty, get yourself Sanka Complet. I also think this is gonna be another fragrance that's gonna mix beautifully with other ones because it has such a good woody base, you know? It's just fantastic. It's a very complete fragrance. Uh, it's creamy, it's coconutty, it's very, very dark wood with some milky sandalwood. Fantastic. So that's Santal Complet by um, Fragrance de Bois. Okay, next one for my floral lovers for summer. I have Jasmine's Marzipan by Lancome. If you love Jasmine, you're gonna love this. This is pure Jasmine, down to perfection. It's easy, it's clean, it's long lasting. It projects, it's very sophisticated, very bougie and put together. You cannot go wrong with this. If you wanna be very classy this summer, Jasmine's marzipan is gonna be your gem. Next that we have here, of course, I have to mention it. It's Baccarat Rouge 540. To me, this is an all year round fragrance that I wear on any occasion. It's super bougie, super expensive, very long lasting, beautiful projection, even though I sometimes don't smell it on myself. People smell it on me, so that's good. Fantastic. It's sweet, it's ambery, it is saffrony. It has that, you know, transparent quality thanks to saffron. Just fantastic. So, yeah, I don't want to ramble too much about this one again, but it's amazing. Amazing, one of my favorite fragrances. Okay, another part from the Marley is Cassili, and this one is a beautiful, bougie summer fragrance for women. If you are a girly girl, you know, you want to smell feminine, get yourself this one. This is sandalwood vanilla. Um, this is yellow tropical flowers like uh, mimosa, frangipani. This is also plum. It's fantastic. Just fantastic. Actually, I've been wearing this one all day today and I got so many compliments from what, random people. So I'm super happy about this. So. Longevity and projection, very good, powerly approved. So that's that. Next, um, I just want to quickly mention the fragrance that I've been wearing my whole life in summertime. And I know it's not niche, but it's still very bougie. And that is Chanel Chanson Fresh. And you cannot really go wrong with this one. This is like the ultimate summer fragrance. There is nothing better than this one. Really, really. is. It's borderline unisex, it's citrusy, but a little bit sweet floral Ugh. and woody. Fantastic, just fantastic with great longevity and 
very nice projection for a citrus fragrance. So that is Chanel Chance of Fresh. And that is that, my beautiful darlings. Thank you so, so much for watching. And again, check out Julia Jewelry. I have a discount code for you, so make sure to use it wisely, because once you go there, you're gonna go obsessed. But I love you, and see you in my next video. Bye.